Well, hello everyone. Um, let's start with this example. Uh, this is example number one uh, of symmetric fall calculation. Uh, example number one is dedicated to uh, use or apply the EMF method for short circuit calculation, specifically three phase short circuits. Okay. Um, if you are with me here, um, let's read this um, a synchronous generator SG and a synchronous motor uh, SM are rate uh, uh, 30 MVA, 13.2 kV. And both have substratient reactance of 20%. Okay, this generator here and this synchronous motor over there. An underground cable system is used to connect uh, the motor and the generator. Here we can see the, the cable, underground cable. And it has a reactance that is 10% on a base of 13.2 kV and 30 MBA, okay? The system is operating in steady state conditions when a synchronous motor is drawing, uh, when the synchronous motor is taking 20 megawatts from the, from the grid and a power factor of 0 0.8, okay? Uh, at that specific moment, the terminal voltage, I mean voltage at P, is 12.8 uh, kilovolts. Suddenly, a uh, symmetrical three folds occur at the motor terminals point P. Okay. Now the question is: calculate the subtracient current contribution provided by the generator and the motor and the full current IF, okay? Use the principle of internal voltage of the machines or EMF method, okay? Okay, it's extremely simple. Let's start with the solution. Let's go for the solution, okay? Uh, the first step that we need to do here, the first step that we need to do here is to create um, a diagram showing the pre-fall conditions and I believe all of you can see uh, there is a generator here here you can see the motor here is the point P and uh, this system is working in a steady state conditions okay and now what we need to do is we know that the basis uh, for this system is 30 MBA and 30.2 kV. And there is only a single voltage in this system. They are not transformers. And as consequence, we can try to define, we, we, we will success on defining the voltage at point P using per unit system. And it's extremely simple, okay? Uh, using the per unit definition, uh, dividing the real voltage by the base, 12.8 kV, dividing by 13.2, and we get here 0 0.97. If we are defining the, if we are defining the terminal voltage as reference, uh, you can see over there 0 0.97. It's uh, located at zero degree. Okay. That is because the system is assumed that we are using the voltage as a reference, okay? Next step. Well, let's take the opportunity and calculate the current base because we will use this in many places. And, well, we apply here the basic definition, the basic definition for uh, current base and is dividing the three-phase apparent power, 30 MVA, divide by a square root three and the nominal voltage 13.2, okay? That means that the current base is uh, 1,312 amps, simple. Now, uh, the next step is, okay, now we need to define here 
we need to define here uh, what is the load current, okay? And the load current here, um, you must remember the definition. The definition should be... Um, uh, the definition is very simple, okay? Uh, if you must remember... Um, S equal square root 3. However, you can say that the current okay and from there we can say that the current is equal to okay in this case the problem say that the power consumption is the power consumption is 20 megawatts and the power factor is 0. Point 0 0.8 but this is a leading power factor that means that the apparent power will be p divided by cosine and the angle will be the angle will be uh, the cosine minus one of the power factor okay uh, in this case, in this case, let me put here some numbers. In this case, it will be 20 megawatts divided by 0 0.8. <coughs> and, <clears throat> and the angle, and the angle will be here. Uh, the angle, it will be minus cosine. 0 0.8 and that will be 20 megawatts divided by 0 0.8 minus 36.9 point, uh, okay however however we are using here we are using here uh, we are using here um, the equation directly and um, and in this case, uh, the conjugate of S will be positive. It will be, I'm oh, sorry. The conjugate of the apparent power will be uh, this uh, positive sign here. And that is the reason that is located there, okay? Uh, probably what I need to put here is a remark about this, okay? Okay. Uh, now we calculate here uh, the apparent power, uh, sorry, the, the current. In this case, uh, the system is taking, the motor is taking 1,128 amps from the grid, okay? And this is the angle. In this case, it's a leading angle because the power factor is, uh, is uh, specifically, specifically, this is a leading power factor, okay? Okay, now what we need to do is uh, for short circuit calculations, we use per unit values. These values must be converted into real units, okay? To do that, to do that is extremely simple. To do that is extremely simple. We use the basic definition of per unit, per unit quantities, okay? The basic definition of per unit quantity. Mm. Okay. Uh, the basic definition of per unit quantity is um, well. You can you can use here uh, the load current divided by the base, and that will give you their per unit values. Okay. Next step. Well, uh, this is the Cartesian uh, representation because over here I am showing the polar representation and that's all. And the next step is, okay, let's do the following. Let's calculate the terminal voltage. Uh, in this case, this is the terminal voltage of the generator, okay? And to calculate the terminal voltage at the generator, we will use Kirchhoff voltage law, okay? 
what I am saying is that this equation over here is coming from uh, Kirchhoff voltage law, okay? And we put the number together. This is the, this is the this is the pre-fault voltage. This is the external reactance. This is the current, the load current that we calculate before. We obtain the terminal current, and from there it's very simple again. Using Kirchhoff voltage law, using Kirchhoff voltage law, it's very simple to calculate the internal voltage at the generator. Uh, the internal voltage will be the terminal voltage plus the voltage drop across the um, uh, generator uh, reactants using the load current. Okay, very simple. Okay, now we will do the same on the other side of the circuit. On the other side of the circuit, what we need to do is calculate what is the voltage, internal voltage of the synchronous motor. Again, we are using Kirchhoff voltage law, Kirchhoff voltage law, and using the proper direction for the low current. Remember, generator is delivering current and the synchronous motor is receiving the current. Okay, we obtain the internal voltage of this motor. Okay, extremely simple and we can move forward. Okay, what is the next step? Okay, the next step is that we take in account the fault conditions, okay? In this case, we know that there is a fault here, there is a fault here at the point P, and in that case, okay, we have the fault at position P. And of course, um, now we will have a current, con current contribution coming from this motor, and there is a current contribution coming from the, uh, coming from the generator, okay? Both of them will go to the point P and then go in here because this is the full current, okay? What I'm trying to say is that the motor and generator contribution, both of them, they are going to the full point and they are adding and they are going to be the fault, okay? What is the next step? Well, it's extremely simple. I think it's extremely simple for all of you uh, that during the fault condition, again, we can use Kirchhoff voltage law because in this area, the current that is providing the generator, the generator contribution will be this voltage divided by the total, by the total uh, impedance. And here we put the number together in per unit. Uh, you must remember that this is 0 to 0 and this is 0 0.10. We combine and this is the current contribution coming from the generator, okay? Then we want to know, we want to know what is the, co the current contribution, but in realistic terms, per unit currents, they are useful for some calculations because allow us to keep going with other per unit calculations, but in real life, we are interested in on amps because amps is what define uh, currents uh, across the circuit breaker, fuses, and so on, okay? Um, okay, now the next step is, let's do the same for the motor, okay? Let's do the same for the motor. Um, and this is the current on the motor, yeah? This is the current contribution provided by the motor, yeah? And in this case, uh, the only reactants limiting the, the, um, the contribution of this motor to the short circuit is the um, uh, subtracient reactance of the motor. We put the number together and we obtain here the beautiful, the beautiful uh, short circuit current, okay? Uh, sorry, contribution. And then, uh, again, we are interested on, and this is the contribution coming from the, gen from the motor, not from the generator, okay? And in this case, the contribution coming from the motor is calculated in real units. 
and in this case uh, we multiply by the base there is a single base for the current and you can see here in rectangular form or cartesian form you can see the current coming from the uh, from the motor that is the motor contribution during the fault okay that's the step okay now now we can use kirchhoff current law kirchhoff current law to calculate the short circuit current and the point p okay and to do so to do so is very simple what we need to do is uh, the fault current the fault current will be the sum of the motor contribution and the generator contribution here we are using per unit values and we obtain here the beautiful, the beautiful, um, the beautiful um, short circuit current, 8.08 .08 per unit. In reality, what we want is the short circuit current using um, real units. In this case, we want the real units is defined by amps multiplying by the base and the base is already known 1312 uh, amps we got here and this is around 10 kilo amps okay now you can see that this is the contribution this is the contribution uh sorry this is the full current that is in that system uh, I appreciate uh, this video. Sorry about a few typos and my ugly handwriting. Thank you very much for attending to this example. Thank you.